What is up boys and girls? Welcome back to another Aoki video. Today we're going to be showing you guys the absolute best and highest win rate Senna build. And it might surprise you because it's looking a little familiar. Um, we are back to Lethality Senna. So I know over the last couple of months I've made a big deal about how Crit Senna is the future and Lethal Tempo and Kraken Slayer and Navori, you know, all these items and builds and runes. But it turns out, I, I, I watched the stats very, very closely. On the newest patch, 13.7, which just dropped, the highest win rate way to play Senna is back to basics, full lethality, believe it or not. So we're going to be showing you guys why and how to abuse it. Um, and it's it's honestly like, it's something that I'm kind of happy about because not, not to say the crit builds weren't good. They were amazing. They definitely were best uh, on those patches, but not anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of happy about it because Lethality Senna just kind of like, it feels right. I don't know how else to explain it. Like, Lethality is how Senna was kind of designed to be played. She's got this big death cannon that, you know, it takes some time to charge up. But once it gets charged all the way, it hits them and zaps them really hard. And that's what Lethality is, right? You walk up, you auto queue, and it's like a third of their health bar is missing. Now, Crit did a lot better on, like, long trades. Like, all-ins and stuff like that. You know, you get Lethal Tempo procced up. This is more of like a hit and run style. And honestly, I don't know if it's like the meta that shifted that made lethality such high uh, high win rate, but it's significantly higher than the crit builds on this patch. My best guess for it is that it's just like an easier build to like use. Like it's easy to just like walk up and get like 90% of your value like right away than to do like super, super long trades, right? So yeah, we're, we're going to be doing Umbral Glaive into Eclipse. It is the highest win rate. It is the best way to play Senna on new patch. And uh, yeah, we're back, boys. Lethality Senna is back in action. Just going to walk up here. Keep autoing them. Boom. Dude, Senna is such a freaking 1v2 champion. I love it. Like, I'm literally just like casually 2v1ing while Jin farms. Love this. Love this champion. I don't love what my ADC is doing right now. What are you doing, man? Beautiful bait, I guess. Good bait, good bait. It was just like taking a stroll under their turret. Third shot there. All right, we got our, we got him super, super low. Jin might be able to flash four shot at some point. Right there, actually. Mmm. Eh, it's not bad. I don't give a kill to Shivana. I get the first blood. That's totally fine. Like, doing all that on their gank is fine, I think. I'll come back in the lane with a serrated Dirk, or we could go for tier 2 boots, but I really want to show you guys, and I want to play Lethality Center because it's been a long time since we played it, actually. It really does kind of, like... It feels like coming home building these items again. So as for our runes, guys, it's literally just the recommend rune page that like within the client, this has the highest win rate. We got fleet footwork, presence of mind, legend alacrity, cut down, biscuit delivery, um, approach velocity, attack speed, AD armor. Um, we've swapped out going AD for attack speed because a couple patches ago, Senna got like an attack speed um, growth buff, which means that she just like gets more out of attack speed. So we used to go like double adaptive, but now we go one attack speed, one AD. And also they tried to like nerf Umbral Glaive and, and don't get me wrong. Like it definitely was a nerf what they did, did to it, but there's a little bit, it's like one of those things where it's like a silver lining because now <clears throat> they nerfed Umbral for ranged users. So like Graves and Senna basically. Uh, so now they still reveal the ward, but they don't one shot it. Their auto attacks only deal two damage to wards. So like normal wards that have three HP, you won't one shot them anymore. But there's a little bit of a silver lining there because now you will reveal the ward. You'll reveal the ward and auto it once and bring it down to one HP. And then someone else on your team can auto attack it. And that means you double the gold. So basically the nerf made it really easy for you to get wards down to one HP and then someone else hits it and you get the full gold for revealing it and they get the full gold, gold for killing it. It's really nice, actually. It's like a really nice way to, easy way to put 30 gold in your ADC's pockets. 
And you get it too, so it's like doubling the gold. All right, our jungler is playing for dragon. We've got Pryo, so we're going to go over there. Always play for the dragon if you get the jungler that plays for dragon. Oh my god. Um... Okay, this is looking pretty good. Beautiful. Kane might die here, but it is what it is. What is that, bro? All right. Well, it ends up being a two for two. It's not the worst. Could have been worse. Mm, I'm going to so go see if I can stop Ezreal's back. Is he here? Nope. All right, we got another kill. We can actually get our entire umbral. So I'm going to go back and... Oh, no, actually, I need 100 gold. I'm going to take a few minions here, bro. He's not going to like it, but I'm going to take a few if I can get them. Homie. Homie. I'm getting a entire item. Did he want me to go back in base and literally wait for a hundred gold? Cause like, what? Oh, they're doing dragon now. I think we let that one go, man. Kind of sucks. I hate putting dragons on Shivana. Um, I'm back in lane. And I am really, really strong. Because, like, that's another kind of upside to building lethality. Is you get your item spikes way faster. Because these they're really, really cheap items. Like, especially Umbral. Out of there. I mean, my Jin's going back. But, honestly, I feel like I can just 2v1. Especially once I get my level 6. I literally just griefed so hard for a ward. Bro, I was like right on the edge of being able to reveal and auto attack it. I, I mean, that was like actually the biggest grief thing I've ever done. Bro, e even the even the enemy team is like, what are you doing? That was like the newbiest thing I've done in like six months. Umbro kind of baited me there, not gonna lie. It's all right. We just want to give him a chance, guys. We just want to give him a little bit of a chance. Oh. This is an ulti. Uh, Shivana's top. Looks like we're losing the rest of the map. We need to need to focus up, actually. Nice. Very nice. Wanna push this, make Ezreal miss some CS. Alright, got my ulti now. Nobody's low over there, so no need to alt. Push for plate. Very nice. As long as I don't get hit by a uh, Swain E, we should be good here. All right, don't don't greed for Umbral Wards, bro. I'm not I'm not gonna greed for that. No, I am. I am actually. I need to flash. Nice. 
Beautiful. Got him nice and titillated for us. All right, uh, we go back. We're gonna get our tier two boots here. Can be keeping my eyes open for any global ultis. We're doing good though, C considering like they've gotten a gank and we haven't. We're doing, uh, we're chilling actually. And for our mythic, we're just gonna go for eclipse, guys. But yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys have uh, been playing uh, uh, Lethality Center, or maybe you never even stopped playing Lethality Center. I know that even when I was like singing the praises of Crit Center and everyone is going Crit Center, Lethal Tempo, and all those, all that stuff. There's a lot of people still building lethality. I think that's kind of just like the good part about playing Senna is there are so many freaking good builds. That was a six, six snare, by the way. Who can win this? Later. Mm. So in this, if anybody lands anything. Okay. Not the worst. Got Varus's flash. This guy's level 10. Solo XP is OP. Want to get this at least slightly shoved in. The Vars can't rotate the dragon. Okay. Now we go dragon. Their mid laners out of the equation. Very nice. Oh. Okay. We're at wards. We're chilling, guys. We're chilling. Good job, everybody. All right, we're going to go back. We're going to get uh, some long swords. Start up our sword collection. Um, guess we sell the pot. No, we sell the control ward. We still need our potion, I think. Refillables get like definitely less significantly useful as the game goes on, but we're still like. We're still in that early game going into mid game phase. Dude, I usually play with like s character voices off, but Senna's got some banger voice lines actually. I mean, as long as I don't get 100 to 0, Senna has, like, so much sustain through her fleet footwork. And, uh, her Q. This guy wanted me to, like, tank the entire wave, I guess. It's the best part about playing Senna, too, is you can just shoot your ADC in the face when he's being annoying. Ooh. Some more vision to clear. I think I'm gonna start roaming because Swain's roaming, and I'm actually very confident we can kill him. Can't go this way, bro. Dude, this Lux misses actually everything. I say that, that she gets an amazing two-man Q combo. Let's go, baby. Huge. My team's, like, kind of forcing me to frontline for some reason. My cane, like, won't go in there and start anything, so we're starting it. It's a little risky to do his Senna, but we're getting the job done. Actually kill this guy. Hurts like rapid fire shot shooting me. Oh, 
Well, now we're both. But what? It, whoa! What in the world? This guy freaking missed his all and then just autoed me to death. That was crazy. AP Varus is terrifying, man. He has one item. Okay, I greatly underestimated the Varus DPS there. Gotta remember. Even though I'm hanging with the big boys, I'm still a support. I'm still three levels down. But that was crazy freaking DPS. Wild times. Alright. Um, yeah, I just don't think we want to, like, sit boss. Seems like a waste. I'm gonna wait 30 gold and get my coal. Coal field hammer. Okay. Swain might be coming to that fight. Oh, yeah, Swain and Varus are. Oof. Oof. Yep. Not looking good, man. He's trying. Oh, my God. Oh, he almost got out, bro. That was almost sick. Last hit this, bro. Last hit the ward, man. That was pretty freaking sick. That was pretty freaking sick, man. We got exhausted. We got ulted by their mid laner and their support. Dodged everything. Whew, that was beautiful. All right, got dragon up in 10 seconds. I'm almost on eclipse, which would be actually be huge. The thing about coming into this dragon is we have no vision. So I think I am gonna try to take a reset if I can. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to, am I? Got blue buff, but no wards. Doing this or not? Because if not, I can reset. Okay, we're not doing it. We're, we're just going to have to give it. Oh, just give. Maybe try to steal, like, going through the wall, but I have no vision. Mid's not helping. Top's not helping. ADC's dead. Sometimes you just got to give up dragon as much as it pains me to. To get our Eclipse, we're going to have some survivability. We're going to do max health damage. So will be, be nice against their uh, Siobhan and Garen. And Swain, too. Okay. Made it out Var Assault. Okay. Got a rooted. Do we have any follow up? How bad? Three for one. Three for one. All right, I'll be on two items now. Healing up our boy Malphite. I, I. We are in this to win this, boys. We're 5, 3, and 7. Things are ramping up. Team fights are getting intense. Luckily, we have a blue or have a red cane instead of a blue cane. Can't remember the last time I had a freaking red cane on my team, honestly. Um, as for third item, it's always going to be just situational. I think we'll go Yomu's or possibly Zonia's here. Zonia's, I can bait out like Varasalt. Mm, I don't know if this is a great Zonia's game, though, honestly. Got a lot of AP damage. You can actually keep this from crashing. Nice. I honestly think if we just Malphite ult that Garen, we can kill him. And we'll win the follow-up damage there, too. 
Is there Swain's just sitting bot? Oh man, he's actually taking blue buff. Whatever. A cannon. All right. We're looking pretty here, guys. We got to start fighting them on next dragon. Whoa. Look at that, bro. Lethality, man. Two autos and literally half of his health bar is gone. That is just wild. I think I hit Swain there, too. Yeah. If he had given me blue, I could be like actually engaging in this, but I've got like two spells left in me, so I gotta go. I guess he really needed blue buff to like clear Gromp. He couldn't do it without it. Oh my god. What is that damage? Oh, don't even tell me. You take blue buff and then feed it. Oh! I went for the double yeehaw there. Nice. All right, I am about to hit a hundred souls. So we're doing good. I've got both summoners up. We have to fight for this, guys. Oh my. Oh my God, we are online. Holy Lord. Guys, I just 1v3 to support. I think lethality might be a little broken. Hey, if you haven't already uh, liked the video, come on, like the video for that, seriously. Holy Lord, that was insane, actually. Oh, me blue, bleep. Me blue, me blue, me blue. Please, please, please. Nice. There's like five people contesting that blue. Dude, I don't. I, 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 I pray for the day that people realize putting buffs on Senna is really, really good. Like, she does super well with blue buff and red buff. Red buff a little bit better, more than blue buff, but like, her, her mana costs are really, really high. And presence of mind and cookies just like don't cover it. I went down swinging, man. I dodged the var assault. I got off all my abilities. I, I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. They hard, hard, hard overcommitted on me. And I, it is what it is, bro. Ended up being a two for four. We're going to get bot turret. Um, Maybe Zonius is a good play here, actually. I'm going to wait till I can get the stopwatch, though. Holy God. Ooh. Early game was a little sus. I'm still upset that I greeted for that ward, but it is what it is. You gotta call yourself out when you make goober plays. I call out other people's goober plays, so I have to call out my own. It's only fair. Plus, it's like a really important aspect of like actually improving is like holding yourself accountable. What you could have done differently. Um, all right, we got Yomu's. Honestly, I'm down to do Baron. Walking through here with Umbral, so there's no vision. We could actually just do it, guys. Oh, my God. Maybe Shivana's clearing boss side here. And they know we're on it, but I think it's actually too late. Beautiful. Dude, it's so crazy like how easy it is to do Baron when everyone's on board, you know? 
Like when just all five people do Baron. People want to act like Baron is like some like late game World of Warcraft raid boss when it's just not. Like the biggest threat when doing Baron is the enemy team. Not Baron itself. So it's just like just hit the Baron, right? Just do it fast so the enemy team doesn't have time to respond. Oh, that's a yeehaw. That's a yeehaw, baby. Give me a yeehaw in the comments. I got him slowed. There's his flash. Oh my god, he missed his var assault. Nice. Got him rooted. Dead. Woo, baby. Heal up my boy. What? Why am I taking turret aggro? Yeah, this just feels right, bro. This just feels freaking right to be playing Lethality Senna again. Um, we're gonna go Zonia's. At least grab the stopwatch component. Oh. Wait, do we just win? Oh, we just win. Definitely thought Swain was gonna like wipe us here. I think I should have stayed though. That's my bad. Wait, I think we still win though. I think we actually still win. Maybe? Goodbye. Means you're dead too. Yo, there it is, boys. 12, 4, and 15. What a freaking game. That was a banger, actually. That was a banger and a half. You'll love to see it. So there it is, guys. Lethality Senna is back in action. It's the highest win rate. It's the best way to play the champion. So we're back. Now, the only exception to that is, like, maybe if they have, like, at literally four tanks on their team or something, probably going to want to go something like Kraken Slayer. Um... But let's take a look at that damage chart because, oh my god, it is looking juicy. 37.2 thousand damage. The closest on their team was a measly 16.6, and that was from their pretty fed jungler. So if you guys have any comments or questions about the build, let me know down in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Take it easy, boys. Peace out.